Hello, today we're going to be rigging our hand. If you don't have one, you can watch a video here on how to make one. To start off, we're going to need an armature to our scene. Then I'm going to head over to the site here and I'm going to search up for in front to find a setting which allows me to always view my bones. Then over in edit mode, we're going to move our bone into place and then I'm going to name this bone hand. Then this bone will be copied and placed into the pointer finger and then renamed to pointer.001. Extrude it out twice and reposition them. Now we're over in pose mode, we're going to add a copy rotation to the second joint, copying the first joint's rotation and locking it so it's only on the Z, and setting our target to local space. Do this for the end joint as well, using the second joint as the target bone to copy. Now I'm going to add the other fingers to the armature. This will be easy as copying and moving and renaming these bones. It seems I have some unwanted bones that I'll remove. Now I'm going to add the same constraints to the other fingers as I did for the pointer using the exact same settings. Now let's add the thumb. Let's copy a bone out and rename it. You can build a thumb using two bones, but I like to use three. This gives me a wider range of motion. Set the same constraints on the thumb as the other fingers, but only do so for the last joint. As the thumb has a wider range of motion, and set the thumb's location to X, not the Z. Now that that's done, select the mesh and then the armature and parent them together with automatic weights. Lastly, I'm going to add some rotation limiters onto the fingers, setting the Z's minimum to negative 85 and the max to zero. As for the thumb, we won't need this as it has a wider range of motion, so setting this would only be counterproductive. And there we have it, a quick and easy hand rig. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.